Hi everyone, what's up? I'm Pritam and you are watching Technical Portal YouTube channel and this is a whole new video of Microsoft Excel Lookup series. So guys, today in this video tutorial as you have seen, we are going to learn how to use the index and match function with multiple criteria in your database. As this is a complex formula, this will be an array function and I'm going to show both array and non-array process to use the index match with multiple criteria. So at first we need to create a data validation list or you can see the drop down menu here. If you don't know how to create it, look at here carefully. At first select that cell you want to create the drop down menu. Go to the data tab here from the data tools block go to this data validation option from here allow this from list and as the source you need to provide that range where your name of the drop down menus are included click on ok it will create a down arrow here right you can select it by clicking here select the next cell also go to the data tab data validation select list as allow and the source as we are selecting the colors this will be our colors range click on ok it will show and drop down menu here look at here it is created successfully now let's start our formula here this is an easy formula you can go through it very easily we are going to look up values with index and match using multiple criteria at first i'm going to show you how to use the array function after that I am going to show how to use the non array function also. So watch this video till the end. So at first equals to we need to use the index formula at first as the array of index we need to provide the range we are searching for. In my case I am searching for the cost so the range will be from E5 to E12 insert a comma now here we need to use the match function as the lookup value we need to provide one comma now here you need to apply the trick open parenthesis now at first as this is asking for the lookup array now this whole options will be my lookup array inside the parenthesis at first we are searching for the hoodie that includes into the h4 cell and where it should search for insert an equation symbol and as we are searching for the product the product list is this one right select this range look at here that's all close the parenthesis now use an asterisk symbol now again insert an parenthesis now here we need to provide our second lookup value that contains in the h5 cell equals to where it should search for it should search for the color range that is from c5 to c12 again close the parenthesis insert an asterisk open and parenthesis now here we need to provide our third lookup value that includes into the h6 cell equation where it should search for it should search for the size table range that is from d5 to d12 now close the parenthesis that's all insert a comma now what we are searching for we are going for the exact match option and provide zero here. Now close the parenthesis and hit the enter button by holding the control and shift key. Look at here it is showing an error as the product of hoodie color white and size large is not available into this database. To prevent this error you can do one thing that edit your formula go to the beginning of your formula and use the if error function right so now this is your function as value insert a comma now what you want to show if the result contains any error i am typing as not available in my case now whenever this formula 
will get any error it will simply show the result as not available that means the product is not available it will show you like this right if you change this to t-shirt that is black in color and size is suppose large it is also not available look at here medium size is available so let's check medium that is actually correct how to format this cell like this that's so simple select this cell go to the home tab click on this accounting number format it will change automatically right that's all now let's check how this formula actually work after that I'm going to show you how to use the non array function normally an index match formula is configured with the match to set look through a one column range and provide a match based on a given criteria without concatenating values in a helper column or in the formula itself there is no way to supply more than one criteria so this formula works around this limitation by using boolean logic to create an array of ones and zeros to represent rows matching all three criteria we have provided here then using match function to match the first one found the temporary array of ones and zeros is generated then here we need to compare the item in h4 that is t-shirt in all the items of this range the size and color according to these ranges after the all things done the formula returns your result without any error and as we have used the if error function in the beginning of this formula if this formula gets any error or if any data provided by you into this table is not available into this database will show as not available as the result look at here green it is not available let's move on to the non array version of this formula this is an array function let me type it and this will be non array don't worry I'll give you the link of downloading this Excel workbook into my description box so please check it out download it and practice yourself for further improvement of your Excel knowledge we need to type the formula like this equals to at first we need to use the index function as array what we are searching for we are searching for the cost in this case also so the array is from e5 to e12 insert a comma now here we need to use the match function as usual inside the match as the lookup value we need to provide one comma now here you need to apply the trick again we need to use the index function here inside index insert a parenthesis again now here provide the criteria like before like at first we are searching for this t-shirt that is included into the h4 cell equals to where it should search for it should search for these cell ranges that is from b5 to b12 close the parenthesis insert an asterisk now here again in certain parentheses we need to search for the second criteria that is included into h5 cell equals to where it should search for it should search for this cell range that is from c5 to c12 close the parentheses insert an asterisk now it's turn of third criteria insert and parentheses now here select the third criteria included cell equals to now where it should search for it should search for this value into the cell range that is from d5 to d12 close the parentheses insert a comma 0 comma 1 as the column number close the parentheses now come to the match function as the lookup array completes insert a comma now here we need an exact match so we need to provide zero here close the parenthesis and hit the enter button look at here it is showing you the result now here you can also use the if error function as we have used before if error now this all is your value comma now it is asking for value if error that means what it would show whenever it finds any error or any not matched data of your database 
it should show not available right so close the code close the parenthesis and the hit the enter button look at here it is showing you the result automatically and if you change this t-shirt black and medium it will show you the result according to your database so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video don't forget to share your opinion as well as your queries into the comment section I will come back soon with another interesting video. Till then keep learning, keep supporting this channel and keep practicing.